Hey guys, one last video. We worked on our base plate and our backstop for the injection motor machine. In this week's video, we're going to work on a spacer for our push-pull toggle. So this is just a piece of uh, half-inch stock. And this is just so that we can raise up the push-pull toggle and get it so that it's in the center of our uh, backstop. So we just need to raise it up just slightly. Um, pretty straightforward and simple project. So let's take a look at the machining operations for this particular item. So let's take a look at the machining operations for the base plate push-pull toggle spacer. So here is our spacer. We're just going to round the corners off here and put six through holes. Uh, and we're just going to use this just to space the push-pull toggle up off the base plate. Our stock here is just some half inch mic six. Um, because it's mic six, I'm not going to face off the top side. You can see that I have it not offset here in the stock. And the actual spacer itself is 0.438. I'm taking just about um, a sixteenth of an inch off this, and I'm leaving that on the bottom so that we can clamp that in the vise. Our first operation here is we're just going to use a quarter inch end mill just to bore these holes. These are clearance holes for some M8s. Uh, I'm then going to come back with the same quarter inch end mill, do the adaptive to get the corners rounded off as well as clean up the sides. Uh, we're going to then follow that up with a contouring operation just to finish that off. And then last is a chamfer operation just to take off the sharp corners pretty straightforward let's uh take a look at the simulation uh the machine time on this is around eight minutes so we're using the quarter inch end mill here this is a three foot aluma power end mill uh, this is just a boring operation to get clearance holes for some m8s Then we're going to do an adaptive operation to remove the perimeter stock and round off the corners. And I could have used the facing operation on this, but we're starting with mic six, so it's nice and flat. There's no point really in doing that. Then last is our chamfer operation. We're just we're just breaking the edge here. We're not really creating uh, a real large chamfer. We're just knocking the corners off. Ideally, when you're doing machining like this, you want to have the stock thicker than the piece so you can use like this so you can clamp it into your uh, vise. Uh, up until this point, I've just been uh, manually cleaning up the edges on on the the base plate and the vice backstop going ahead and getting those pieces to size we didn't really have any extra stock to leave uh, for clamping so we had to get a little um, creative with that and try to avoid uh, drilling into the vice or anything like that that is the spacer for the push-pull toggle uh, pretty straightforward so let's go out to the precision matthews and we'll machine this out
right, it looks pretty good. We're going to flip it and face off the bottom material that's left here. Five thousandths depth of cut here on this. We're going to do two passes. We left about uh, a sixteenth of an inch on there. spritz of alcohol on there, just uh, isopropyl alcohol, just to give it a little lubrication. If I turn the coolant on, it'll splash all over the screen and you won't be able to see anything. Okay, well here is the spacer. It turned out really well. Uh, again, this was just some mic 6. And this is just so that I can space this off up just enough to get the push-pull toggle to direct all the force, the clamping force, uh, toward the center of the uh, stop here. Uh, this is going to be adjustable here with this bolt however I've got a three inch when it's fully clamped I've got a maximum of three inches so I think that's going to be pretty good for an uh, inch and a half per side for the mold uh, that'll cover just about everything I can think of at the moment next we're going to start moving on to the next part which is the next level here mounting plate this will hold the injection molding 
melting chamber and uh, that center plate and uh, we're going to work on that next also uh, the mold chamber mount we'll be working on that hey guys well I guess that'll wrap up this video guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in you can click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner also click on that notification bell that way when I post a new video like this one if it's something you're interested in you can stop by and check it out as always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.